Please welcome to the stage, Holland Taylor. Well, had I known he was going to read that chunk of bio, I'd have slit my throat on the way here. <laughs> Laura Linney is an adored fixture in my life and has been for about 30 years. So collecting my thoughts about her is like trying to pack everything I love from all my closets into a smart little overnight bag. And scanning her enormous, really shockingly vast list of important titles in film, TV, and stage, not to mention an, an honestly embarrassing collection of awards, honors, and nominations. Yes, miss, you should blush. I mean, it's like over 100. A hundred, really? I mean, was that necessary? <laughs> it makes me think, good Lord, this woman is a goddess from Olympus. And I have allowed our long, cozy friendship to keep me from being fully aware of her enormous achievements. In fact, looking over her work, just the sheer numbers, I discover I, I've actually not seen a few of these. Actually, more than a few. And it's a testament to our insane modern life, of course, but also, girl, if you were gonna make that many movies and TV shows, you know, you're, you're gonna lose a few of us who have to live our lives and do our work making our own little filmographies. So give us a break. Now let's look at the dark side, shall we? Don't you think there were casualties along the way to Olympus? diva doings and betrayals behind her pristine blonde goddess image. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> she can't be that good. Knowing her for so long, I could for sure tell you that maybe you don't want to meet her in a dark alley. <laughs> maybe there are a few bodies left in a ditch after quite a few of her movies and and all those former close associates who dare not speak her name. I'd love to be the one that blows her cover. But as Richard Nixon said so many years ago, that would be wrong. I'm sorry, but scratch Laura Linney, and you find, God help us, Laura Linney. Almost 25 years ago, while shooting The Truman Show, the fairy tale seaside uh, town in Florida, Laura had taken a house. And at an early rehearsal, knowing I was stuck in some Radisson whatever, she impulsively said, come stay in my house. It's huge and airy. I was so startled, I didn't know how to respond, except to say, gee, OK. So we hung out over the weeks. And I realized at some point, that she was a gift in my life. Laura's generosity is like throwing money off the back of trains, full of air and sunlight. As with my stay under her roof, her gifts are given so lightly, you hardly know whatever has blessed you. Listening to a friend's troubles, Laura is at her most generous, really to a fault, giving you that laser intelligence and that warm heart with never a flicker of impatience, with never a sense that you know, she has stuff that she'd like to be doing. She is generous with herself, her time, that thing most of us keep tight in our pockets. She is, even, dur oh, even during the pandemic years, when Laura was flying back and forth every single week between work in Atlanta and her son and husband in Brooklyn, all that time, it was she who called me every so often for a long FaceTime visit, a check-in during an era that was hard on everyone. Always the insanely busy Laura who thought to make the call. This kind of matchless friendship that presents no bill, this is a rare thing in life. Those perfect clear blue eyes that invite you to be real with her. This is Laura. And as for the actress, I have a sudden insight. In all her shows and movies, curiously, Laura looks very much as she does in life, mostly quite contemporary, 
Very few roles required her to change anything about how she looks. You know her, how she speaks, how she wears her hair. I can't offhand remember accents that she's had to use. Up on screen, at first glance, she just seems like Laura Linney. But equally curiously and to the point, when I am in her audience, lost in whatever performance she is giving, I can't see Laura at all. I don't see Laura Linney. I see who she is playing. She has captured me in plain sight, exactly as her generosity does, a kind of sleight of hand. I hardly notice that I have been shanghaied, and I am on the pirate ship Laura, <laughs> on the voyage that she is sailing. Soon she will dump me back on the rude sidewalk, popcorn spilling from my lap, not knowing how I got there. This is the secret gift of Laura, Laura Leggett Lenny, who is all that she seems. No smoke, no mirrors, just magic. <laughs>